how to fix Google Search Console page with redirect issues for WordPress if it is to do with the forward slash in the URL pattern. So the new Search Console page indexing report may show page with redirect. And if you're looking at the URL patterns here and going to visit the URL and there is a redirection occurring, that could be a problem for some setups if the site is set up incorrectly and the sitemaps have the incons inconsistent URL patterns. What that means is, whatever the sitemap you've submitted to Search Console should have one URL pattern. Let me show you this scenario. Let's say you're using the popular Yoast SEO plugin for your WordPress site and you end up submitting the page sitemap. Then you can press on Ctrl U on the keyboard and then triple check the URL patterns here. Do they have that forward slash or not? Then compare them with the URL patterns on your website. That means if Google sees this URL without the forward slash, then it could get confused in terms of page with redirect. And that's a common scenario for WordPress because URL with a forward slash in the URL pattern compared to the one without it are completely two different URL as in completely two different pages. So that means when I visit this, it takes me to the correct URL pattern that is within the sitemap. So when you log into your WordPress dashboard, the places to check is settings, permalinks. And if your WordPress site is using custom structure, whether you're using forward slash or not, what I'm saying to you is whatever the URL pattern that is on your WordPress site should be consistent with the URL pattern you've submitted to Search Console. But what if you have not submitted any sitemaps to Google Search Console? And there are still page with redirect problems. Well, in that scenario, what you should do is look at the example URLs and actually ask yourself, you know what, do they look familiar? In this example, I may say, okay, how in the world did Google see this URL? And what happens when I visit that? Oh, it's went somewhere else. So that's perfectly okay. Well, I should have, if you haven't watched other videos regarding the page indexing problems, then always look at all submitted pages to see, you know what, are there problems here? Because all known pages, you know what, Google is efficient web crawler. It may come across links that doesn't make sense when you look at it. It's the way Google crawls the internet. So you can't really do much about that. But what you can do is make sure the all submitted pages, which come from the sitemaps that you've submitted, there are no page with redirect issues. But if there are, then the places to check is consistency in the URL pattern with the forward slash or without it. And make sure that you only use one URL pattern, whether it is with forward slash or without forward slash. You can look at the, some of the examples, copy the URL pattern and search your WordPress pages. You can do that. You can search your posts, but better way is to use tools, export the all content, whether you're running WooCommerce or anything else, download the content, open it up using Notepad or Notepad++ and search for those URL patterns within 
because it could come from comments and so on. And then say to yourself, okay, you know what? That URL is not on my website. Now, when that happens, it could be the reason that it is coming from some external website, which you can see from the legacy tools called links. Google may have followed the link to your website that has the inconsistent or outdated URL. You've updated your entire website. It's all working co correctly. That URL search console is showing you is not on your website. Well, that's all you can do from your end. But if the issue is related at forward slash and the custom structure seems okay, and you're thinking, okay, you know what? When I set that up, I'm still having that forward slash problem. Then all WordPress sites, when they are installed, WordPress generates .hdxs file, which can be located through your web hosting cPanel, usually cPanel. So let's right click and open the file. I'll show you what's going on here and I'll show you a quick fix if the problem is related to that forward slash. I'm showing you my local copy. This is what WordPress generates by default. It needs this. What it's saying is if module mod rewrite is enabled, then this is what WordPress needs. Okay. So what you can do is after rewrite base, okay, let's make some room. Let's paste that request file name. That's already there. If the request file name is this, you can do redirection and force the forward slash. So this is by editing .htaccess file. Obviously, you download the original copy and make a backup. Okay. So let's go and see if somehow you're not using custom structure and the URLs are having problems with search console due to forward slash. I've just shown you a quick fix that forces that forward slash to be in the URL pattern. Okay. Also remember that page with redirect issues could be related to alternate page with proper canonical tag. So I'm not going to confuse you as to try and explain to you why there is that connection. Only to say the way Google looks at URLs and indexes them. And if the website, which is a WordPress, in this scenario, by default, you'll have a link canonical tag here. That means anytime you're analyzing page with redirect issues, you want to make sure the canonical URL uses the correct URL pattern. In my scenario, it's that forward slash. Okay, because there is a difference in terms of how Google sees that URL without the forward slash. That means when you're analyzing page with redirect issues for WordPress and you're seeing some, as we can see, let's go and look at this here because this doesn't have that forward slash. And in this example, it's outdated HTTP version as well. So in my example, I can say, okay, you know what? Let me go and see that URL. As you can see, it's gone to HTTPS version. Let's look at .htaccess file. What you can do is you can create mod headers. I'll show you just these lines here so that you may consider using these if search console page with redirect issues are related to https 
as we can see that's HTTP that means when this URL is visited my setup should automatically redirect to HTTPS version and you can force WordPress to do that here using if module mod headers header always set strict transport policy and here you declaring the the caching times that include subdomains and it preloads environment is HTTPS in this second line we're saying header add refer up policy strict origin when cross origin this is to do with cores cross origin resource sharing then we're setting header add content security policy upgrade insecure, insecure requests block all mixed content so understanding how to fix google search console issues can be complex the places to look at is within this video as well as on rank your youtube channel but one way or another any website built on any content management system page with redirect issues must not be ignored because it's to do with indexing that means if google can't index urls it cannot show in google search results i thank you for learning with rankia and i'll talk with you in the next video session